Uh, hello, this is David Birch at Star Pass School of Navigation with a note on how to set your cell phone to an, uh, the cell phone uh, sensor, pressure sensor offset to be correct. And I'll do this first example for the United States and then uh, make a more general one that will work in Europe and other parts of the world. Um, so the first thing we need, and we're using our app, and I'll put links in there about how you can get this free barometer app uh, for your uh, phones, uh, Android or Apple phone. Uh, and so the first thing we need is an elevation. We need to know when we're going to, we need two things to set that sensor. We need to know what is the elevation of the phone, the barometer, at the time we're going to compare it to an accurate sea level pressure at that location. So we need two things. We need to know the elevation at the present time, and we also need to know the uh, accurate pressure at that sea level pressure at that time. So for the U.S., we will get, um, we'll, here's a way to find uh, accurate elevation. There's multiple ways, but here's one way it works. Go to Google and search on um, National Viewer, N-A-T-I-O-N-A-L, National Viewer. That should do it. And the top one here is National Map Viewer, uh, Advanced Viewer and that will bring up this uh, viewer. Now you can go up here, see if I can move this and see where it says find. Now we know where we're located because the barometer, this barometer app tells you precisely where you're located. So you can just go up here and type in, type in the number you see here. So that's a 47.6745, 6745 comma space minus 122.3983. Uh, uh, just a note that when you're doing decimal, lat lon and decimal, the north is a plus number, south is minus, but uh, west longitudes are minus in the standard convention for decimal degrees of longitude. So that's that. Then you just say go. Now that, look at that, found us pretty fast even. So we're actually, yeah, we're located right here. But you see, here's a contour of um, uh, 140. Let's see. This is uh, 140, 160, 180, 200. So you see, we're here right at about 160 feet. It actually, if you do this a more accurate way, you get about 162, which you almost can see from here. But we're located right on that corner. So I've got 162 feet. Now I come back to the phone. And again, this is convenient for the U.S. There's, there's a, a European or a global analogies. Uh, you can do it with Google Earth. Uh, but let's come back here. So now I need to push this button here on the settings. Oh, let me get this a little bit bigger here. Okay, so now I need to push this settings button. That's why I'm reaching over and doing that. And there's the settings. So now I need to go up here. Let's see. Elevation units, meters. I was doing some tests there. We don't want meters. Now we want feet. So I got that now in feet. And so then we come down here and put it in uh, 160. Oh, uh, let's be frank here. Uh, my barometer is actually sitting about three feet above the floor on the table. So we should do that. The, the, these, uh, this map and other sources are going to tell you the elevation of the ground, the ground level elevation. Then you have to account for how high the instrument is above the ground. That's called the removal. That's a, a, just a weird, unusual word for it's called removal, that distance. So if you're on a first floor, second floor, you have to account for that. So I'm going to take that 160, uh, 162, and I'm going to add three feet, and I'm going to put in 165, which you just do by punching these numbers. Okay, 165 and done. Okay, so now I have one. Oh, no. Sorry. That's not right. Um, I have to be better than that. One sixty-five, done. Okay, so now I got one sixty-five. Now I can go back here to the uh, millibars. 
Okay, so now we have 165 feet. What we're trying to figure out is what this sensor is. So now we know our elevation. Now I need to know at this time, where is that time? Right up here, something like that. Uh, what is the pressure at this location? Now in this case, and in the US, you see if you're, if you're near coastal waters, and we have other places where you can find the airports, uh, the METARs, but if I go here, let me just zoom this out a bit and show you the perspective. Here's where we're located. Right sitting here is a buoy, it's not a buoy, it's a lighthouse. And that's got an accurate pressure in it. And that'll be, that'll be good enough for what we're doing now. Plenty good enough. It's only about a mile and a half away here. So I want to go there. And you would find that, you would go to a National Data Buoy Center. National Data Buoy Center. That should usually find it. You see that? It did automatically. So National Data Buoys, which one did it take? Oh, somehow it's remembered that I've been at the right one. But if you go to the National Buoy Center, it will bring up a map, and then you'll home in on your region. So here is now this pressure. And if this reads, uh, if this reads inches or something weird here on these units, then you would just go up here, select metric, and then push select. And then that will uh, refresh the page and put it to pressure. So there's the right pressure, 1015.2. So now I know the pressure. Now, um, let's be a little bit careful here about the time. This is 5 o'clock. Let me, uh, let me uh, just refresh this here. Um, OK, why didn't that refresh? OK, there. This is, uh, you'll read about this in the app. This is uh, doing a 14 second average, but it just updated the time and everything. So you see here it's uh, like, uh, it's uh, UTC 0034, and that's 534 here local time. Oh, so this is five o'clock. So actually, let me be here. What's happening here? This tells us the pressure is rising at the rate of 0.3 millibars in three hours. 0.3 millibars in three hours is rising, and this pressure was at five o'clock. So we're an hour, we're half an hour in. So this is actually then 0.1 millibars per hour. So that'd be 0.05 millibars per half hour, and we're not doing that. I could maybe put in a tenth or something. But that you see it's not a factor. But this number could be three out here. You see, that could be three millibars per hour. It's a big pressure change, but that could happen easily. And you could be almost up to the hour. So it, it, it pays to take a look at what's the time you're actually doing it and what is this tendency, keeping in mind this is the change per three hours, not per one hour. So I know the pressure now. It's 1015.2. I'll call it 1015.3. Uh, to give a little leeway. So now I go back to the settings and then I just go to this button here, right here, and just raise that up to 1015.3.3? No, 1015.2, yeah, 0.3. Okay, so that's it. That's it. Now I've got back, oh, back here, I gotta go here. So now I've got it, uh, my sensor, this is my sensor offset. Now that's a permanent number, so I would go and save this, save it. Now you see, if you come back and push here, then you have, this is what I just did. So that shows that I, this is storing the pressures, and permanently storing them. Uh, you can you can get rid of one if you want to, you know, slide, slide it that way. But otherwise, it's going to take about 100 of these and then override them. Uh, so that's a record of when I set the sensor. So uh, that's that. And that's the process. So now I know that this barometer is, um, uh, I, I got to do 1.4 millibars as the offset. So I just turned my uh, cell phone barometer into the equivalent of about a $700 electronic barometer. So that's the process. Uh, I'll, I'll come back later and make a generic one uh, for European waters.